Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate a walk cycle in After Effects using the Twig Basil plugin. So I created this design in such a way that it's easy to rig and then animate a walk cycle with it. So this is how the layers are separated in Adobe Illustrator and I'm providing this illustration file so you can collect it from link in the description. So go download it from there and follow along with this lesson. So let's jump into After Effects and start with the rigging process. So right now we are in After Effects and we are going to start with the hand rig. On the top of the illustration you can see some circles on the position of the overlap of the joints. So these are for rigging reference. So first we are going to pre-comp the head with this cap. Let's turn on the continuous rasterize and we are going to move the anchor point and put it over here. Next, we are going to select the hand rigging reference. First arm, then forearm and then hand. Then click on rigging. Then we are going to create a arm structure. So click on it. And here you can see that it's automatically repositioned in the center of these circle references. So right now we are going to select this and place it over here. Now let's select this structure layers and we are going to put it above the hand illustration layers and then parent arm with the arm, forearm with the forearm and the hand with the hand. Now let's select these arm structure layers and we are going to click on links and constraints and then click on auto rig to rig the arm. So with this, the hand is rigged. Now the rig is in the opposite direction. Here, select the controller and in the effects control panel, you have to uncheck the reverse. If the reverse is checked, if you uncheck it, it is going to just change the direction and it's unchecked. Then if you check it, then it's again going to change the direction. So right now we need this direction. So let's follow the same process for the next hand. So let's rig the arm too. And here the arm too is also rigged, but we have to uncheck it to change the direction. Now we are going to rig the leg. So for that, let's select the leg layers and solo it. And then we are going to select this rigging reference and solo it. And we are going to select the thigh, then this one and this one. And in this direction, we are going to select this rigging reference. So this time we are going to select the leg structure. Okay, so one more thing for the foot. I would like to add some pins over here so that we can rotate the toe as well. So for that, let's select the foot illustration layer and let's add one pin over here, one here and one here and one here. Select the puppet, then click on links and constraint under it. Here is add bones, click on it and the pins are converted into bones. So now we are going to rename the layers. Okay, so now we are going to parent hill with the foot, toe tip with toe and the toe with the foot. So let's select this structure layers and put it above the leg illustration layer. And we are going to reposition these structure layers. Okay, now we are going to parent the illustration layers with the structure layers. So for the foot, I am parenting this bone layer with the foot structure layer. Now let's select the structure layers and click on auto rig. And with this, the foot is rigged, but it's in opposite direction. So check the reverse and the direction changed. So we are going to follow the same process for the leg too.
Okay, so with this the foot too is also rigged. Now we are going to rig the body. So select the body layer and we are going to solo it. And add few pins over here. One here. One here. One here. And one here. So we are going to convert these pins into the bone layers. And let's rename the layers. So we are going to parent neck with chest, chest with spine and the spine with the hip layer. And after that we are going to parent the arm structure layers, both the arm structure layers with the chest layer. And then we are going to parent both the thigh structure layers and parent this one with the hip. After that we are going to select the hand controllers and parent it with hip okay now we are going to select the neck move the anchor point of the neck and put it over here and then we are going to select the head layer and its anchor point is properly placed so we are going to parent head with the neck and the neck with the this neck bone layer so now this whole character is rigged to animate. So now we are going to jump onto the animation process. So first let's delete this rigging reference. So now we are going to shy out few layers. Those are not required in the animation process so that we can get lesser number of layers in the timeline. So now let's start with the walk cycle animation. So these are the key poses of a walk cycle and a typical walk cycle takes around 1 second. So we are in 30 fps and let's jump on to next 30 frames and we are going to bring the work area end over here. Okay, let's start with the foot animation. But before that press Ctrl plus R. To bring the ruler and I'm going to put a ruler over here so this is going to be the crown line and let's select the foot press B to open the position put keyframe on position and R for rotation put a keyframe on rotation also let's put a keyframe on the toe one as well on the rotation property so we're going to start with the contact pose so i'm going to pull it and put the leg over here and let's rotate it the side and we're going to move it up so that it's not crossing the ground line and here we're going to rotate it in the opposite direction and let's jump on to the last frame and we're going to put the keyframes then let's jump on to next 15 frame exactly at the midpoint and we are going to move this controller and we are going to rotate it as well also rotate the foot even more let's select all these keyframes is is the keyframes so over here there would be a passing pose so here is the another contact pose and here would be a passing pose so let's jump on to next eight frame and we're going to move the leg up a bit and we're going to rotate the foot in this direction so now let's move next three frame from the contact pose and here the foot would be flat on the ground even the toe rotation as well so it's going to continue till this point so till this point it should be flat on the ground 
so give zero in the rotation property now we're going to move the foot and just place it on the ground line let's copy and paste the position so let's move this one as well and here we need to fix the motion path or we can even add one keyframe over here and we're going to convert this keyframe into a roving keyframe and this one as well so let's preview the animation all right next we are going to add some movement on the body so for the body movement we can move the hip and the whole rig is going to move so we're going to press p to open the position and we're going to separate the dimension so we're going to work with the y-axis of the position so let's put a keyframe over here and we're going to bring the body down next we're going to jump on to around 9 frame and we're going to move it up and here we're going to copy and paste the initial keyframe select the keyframe and easy is it and we're going to add a loop expression So now we are going to add the loop expression on the toe layer then on the position property and the rotation property of the foot controller. Now after that we are going to copy these keyframes from the foot one paste it in foot two. Similarly copy the keyframes from the toe and put it on the toe to now we're going to select the toe to and the foot to keyframes and we're going to offset it by 15 frames so exactly at the midpoint and here you already have a walk cycle well i think we need to fix the position a bit so we can pull it back a bit So now we are going to add some rotation on the body. So press R to open the rotation property and add the rotation keyframe. So here we are going to add around one degree of rotation. Well, minus one degree of rotation and here one degree of rotation. And here we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe. Select the keyframes and is is it copy the loop expression and we're going to paste it in the rotation property now after that we're going to copy this rotation keyframes and paste it in spine and chest layer and then let's paste it in the neck layer also in the head layer so now we're going to animate the hands so press p to open the position press R to open the rotation and at the 15th frame here we are going to again put keyframes so here let's select this hand and place it back and we are going to add a rotation and this hand and let's add a rotation at the first frame we are going to do the opposite so we are going to move this hand in this direction and then this hand in this direction and then we are going to add a motion curve so we are going to adjust the motion path and make it a curved path not a linear path and then in the last frame we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe 
and select this keyframes and erase it. So when you copy and paste keyframes, the motion path sometimes gets in the opposite direction. So you need to fix it manually. Okay, now we are going to add the loop expression in the position and the rotation property of the hand controller. Okay, so with this, the walk cycle animation is done. So now we are going to add some follow through. So for that, we are going to add some offset in the keyframes of the rotation property. So first start with the body layer and we are going to offset these keyframes by one frame. Then let's offset the spine and then offset the chest so after that we're going to offset the neck layer rotation and then we're going to offset the head layer rotation now we're going to select these hand layers keyframes and we're going to offset it by one frame and let's offset the rotation keyframe by one frame now let's check out the animation. So now the overall animation looks even better. So like this you can animate a walk cycle in After Effects. So to animate the cap like this, so I have simply added few pins on the cap layer and then converted the pins into the bone layer and then simply copied and pasted the head rotation keyframe and slightly offset it for all the bone layers. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.